I just want to shoot this short video. Everybody knows I've had this problem with this guy. Oh, God, since 2006. Anyway, I bought some of his paintings in 2006. A year later, I decided to sell them because I needed money for my, my dog who had cancer for chemotherapy. So I ended up putting his stuff on eBay. I found out since then that he does not like people reselling his stuff on eBay. He's got done videos about it. Friends of his have told me about this. But anyway, so for a month he kept complaining that first email I got from him, I put him up on eBay. I can't get into this gallery room, this black so and so is in, this other artist. And here's my stuff on eBay for $9.99. Well, the point is, I bought four or five paintings for $24. I put them on eBay, starting bid for $9.99 each, which is more than I paid for them. So I don't know what he's talking about. So, and then I end up saying to him, look, you want the paintings? I'll send them back to you for cost. Just pay the shipping and the cost. And, oh, no, just sell this shit. And then he was complaining, you and this guy are in this gallery. I can't get in there out in Bodai. I said, look, the gallery owner is a decent guy. I'll talk about it. No, just sell this shit again. So that was fine, and then actually the auctions were over. Then he went to some show someplace, and he got upset with something in the show. They didn't show his stuff or something. I don't know what the story is. I don't really care. And then when he comes back, he starts saying, excuse me, copying his art. Now, this guy is renowned for doing that. He says, I'm the only one that was ever given him problems, but he's bullshit. Maybe I'm the only one that stood up to him. That's what he means by problems. And I'm not taking crap from anybody. I mean, I'll admit when I can make a mistake, and I've probably apologized to different people, including him, from certain things I did since we got in arguments and shit. But it's never ending with this guy. Uh, anyway, he, he excuse me, I, I copied his art. Did I use red mud and all this other crap or mud? I, you know what? I painted with mud long before this boy was even born. That's my first paint. Stuff I used for painting was wet dirt and and uh, and tar. Actually, we used to use tar. But uh, anyway, it, but that's besides the point. The thing is, he's accused me all the, of all these statements, and it's all garbage. And I finally had with him, I said, look, why don't we take a lie detector test? And once I did that, he got all these fake IDs going, knocking my wife, knocking me, disgusting. He's, he's, what he is is a bully. He's a typical guy that, uh, you know, he can't really, he's not tough, but he acts tough. And what he does, and when you stand up to him, which most people don't, uh, then he'll, he'll, he goes nuts. He hides in this little room. And what he does is he'll accuse you of stalking, and, and then he does baby shit, like stalking, and he did this and that, and really childish stuff, which a typical bully does, because he's frustrated because he couldn't bully you to backing down. But anyway, um, <laughs> there's one thing he has, I'll just show you while I'm here. He has this, uh, this is a horse that we've had in Dorset Farm, uh, the Reed Farm. I bought this place 20 years ago, there was an old farm, this old sign was here, an old one, this is a copy. I ended up selling the sign, I, but I did copies of it, uh, and I've sold them, and I actually had the people that used to live in Vermont, the Reeds, the descendant of them come over here and actually uh, get a sign from me, and she's actually sold a couple more to, more of her relatives. There's no Reeds left in Vermont, but they're all over the country. I have an outhouse in the back, and she wants me to do more paintings of this horse and that sign on there to send to them. I'm very busy between them and other people with commission work. I don't need to copy anybody's art, and I'm not into this for the money. This guy accused me of being in for money. Well, I left the gallery <laughs> that he was in, and if I really wanted money, I would have stayed in that gallery. This is only a part-time thing for me. He just can't get that. And I enjoy painting. It's not for the money. Uh, I have, I'm a contractor. I retired. I have a pension. I have security. I have other investments. I don't need... As a matter of fact, I can't make much more money because they would penalize me. I have a a farm here where I make money, I have a construction business I make money at, and now my wife and I are, you know, bringing other products in here in my gallery. I'm actually going to be doing less paintings, more bigger ones, and we're selling different farm products and bringing other people in to sell their stuff here. And so that said, and anyway, like I said, I take a polygraph test with this guy anytime, and he won't. Uh, now somebody's coming in. Anyway, slight interruption, person coming in for eggs. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I don't even know where I left off. But this horse I've done for years. Uh, this person that's accused me of copying his stuff. We had peace, we had peace, we had peace, and he'd break the peace. But um, anyway, he, I had an auction, and he, you'll see his auction on his webpage. He has it in yellow. An auction he had, an auction I had. Now, um, and you'll see this horse that he's claiming I copied his horse. You can see the horse looks nothing like his, number one. And it was a mud painting. Well, he isn't, he isn't the only god that can paint with mud. But uh, 
he was stating that, you know, that this, like, I got this idea from his horse, but this horse has been around since the, probably 1940s. So, and painting mud, I've done it before him, so. But anyway, if any of the things he said was true, anything you see, if say, you just ask him, why does he take a polygraph test? I'll pay for it. And if it's true, why does he take me to court? Or if it's true, why does he have me locked up? Because none of it's true. He, he's just, you know, he just accuses of others what he does. And that's, when he can't fight back honestly, uh, either physically or honestly in court, that's what he does. His fake IDs, you know, knock you, your family, your wife, he'll draw dirty pictures of your artwork and put it all over the internet. And then, he, then he'll cry, oh, you've got to hold my galleries and my studios, which I never did. I only talked to two people who are representative of his, telling them, you know, what the hell is this guy doing? You represent him. And they both denied it then. <laughs> but anyway, oh, he had this one art registry that sent me a, a cease and desist letter. It was a joke. Uh, when they, when this person talked to me, they were, uh, spent more time trying to sign me up than, than talking about uh, copying and stuff. And she knew I didn't copy. And she even said that. She says, and she, oh, anyway, about this all, she says, because uh, that time me and him and somebody else were all basically joking around with each other, uh, putting things on eBay, just joking around. But he was, he just couldn't take it when he did, did it back. He likes to give it, but he can't take it. But anyway, she said to me, look, when you're going to do any auction, do any painting, like, like he does a lot of horse and stuff. Uh, check his auctions and make sure he doesn't have anything and don't post at the same time, post later. So I took her advice. He, I ended up checking and sure enough I had this horse to go up on eBay and he had one already on eBay on, uh, on Sunday night. So I waited for Tuesday night to put on and bam, the shit hit the fan. That's when he put all that crap up. So, you know, so it's a joke. Matter of fact, this woman, they had a, uh, she, he brags about her being a big thing over one of these big cases, but she probably has that fine. But uh, the, uh, uh, I ended up pulling the Bar Association, and the Bar Association in Arizona sent her a warning letter. Because what she was doing was wrong, because he bragged about her doing, sending, doing it. Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't know if I had any other part, I had to stop this video twice. <clears throat> anyway, well, I was, this guy was harassing me and stuff, and joking around saying, oh, you can't get red mud in Vermont. Well, just a little thing I want to show you. Uh, you can. Red mud, all um, uh, red mud is iron in, in the mud, in the dirt, iron oxide. And it, all paint is made from some kind of uh, uh, earthly thing like stone, grass, uh, leaves, uh, flowers. This, you know, the color is all taken from that. Rocks, like I said, uh, Native American Indians do it. But you do is you mix it with a binder and it becomes paint. Uh, and now you can use it, you can mix it with acrylic or oil medium, and that's what I do. I, this came out of my filter, so it's actually already filtered out. It's clean. It's uh, it's not dirt. It's not uh, you know contaminated dirt. Um, some people just dig dirt out of the ground and make mud out of it, and you don't know what the hell's in the ground. You should really wash it first. But anyway, so when when I get the soil, um, I'll mix it with an acrylic medium, and sometimes a binder like an egg or something like that, and it's real paint. And uh, what this fellow does, he just takes it like this, which I'm not knocking it, and he'll just draw a painting or something. He'll either put this on a painting wet, just wet mud, it's not really paint. And, uh, and like I said, the big problem is I don't use red or black or green or brown mud to paint with. I use red, black, green or brown mud paint. But he'll just paint on something and then uh, uh, spray a sealer over it or different coats of sealer. Uh, where my paint is made of real paint, and you don't need a sealer. It's, it, it's, it's got the binder, and it's not. It's gonna. It's as good as not better than real paint. But then you spray it to protect it from dirt or something else. So that's it. So mud, uh, different colors d soil. There's more than one different color soil in Vermont. Here, you can get brown soil. You can actually get black soil. Uh, you can get you can get the iron red colored soil. So there's soil all over the world, different colors, and you know, some people just think that, uh, and actually people, it seems like the ones that do copy other people are the ones that complain about other people doing the same thing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, just sue me, take me to court or something if it was true. You know, I, I grow up. Spend more time with your family. Peace, everybody.